I am Stevie B, and we got another random eBay mystery box opening to do for you today. And this is a big one. Um, this one comes from Joy Dash Four Fifty Five. I should have done this before. There we go. <laughs> Get my address label off there. But anyway, this one comes from Joy455 on eBay. Um, it was $20 shipped. And what this one offers is 50, 50 random comic books. She said they are all bagged and boarded. Good job, Joy. And she doesn't make it. She doesn't promise any grails or any first appearances or anything like that. She just promised 50 random books. So I thought, well, why not? This deep mixture of DC, Marvel, you know, um, and I'm sure there's some independence in here and everything, but they're nicely packed. And they are not wrapped in 500 uh, strips of packing tape, which I like that. But they are safely packed. Um, I'm going to set the box down here. So I got to give me a little more elbow room here. And let's see what we got. Alright. This is going to take a while, so I'll go through them pretty quick. First one out, RoboCop, number one. Um, great condition, bagged and boarded. That looks like she made a little mini run here. Little RoboCop number two. Again, great condition. I mean, I will definitely not, uh, I definitely give her credit for, I I'm going to say her. Because I'm assuming Joy, but could be a guy. But I will refer to them as them. How's that? I will give them credit for condition. Well, I spoke too soon. <laughs> Nth Man Beyond World War Three, number thirteen. This one's kind of a beater. Uh, I mean, you can see, you can see there's a big scrape right down that and it also has some really bad spine roll to it but again when you're dealing in when you're dealing in dollar man books or as uh, as Fu and Squatchy have referred to me as the quarter bin uh, quarter bin diver something like that but alright well this one ain't well, this is not a bad book actually and as I said sometimes when you dig in them quarter bins you find gold but uh, this is Power Girl, number one, part uh, number one in a four-issue miniseries. So, meh, not bad. It's got a little bit of stress breaks uh, on the spine, but you know it's a dollar comic. I'm assuming that's uh, maybe early '90s. The New Warriors, number ten. Uh, yeah, yeah, got a little bit of spine roll. Not bad though. <laughs> I remember this guy. He was. He didn't get too far. I don't think uh, back in the nineties. But um, I actually had a. I actually had an action figure of this guy. But Wonder Man, number two. I remember sending off when Wizard, uh, Wizard Magazine used to do. Or was it? No, I think it was actually Toy Fair, which was a off, which was the toy version of Wizard. Um, but it was owned by Wizard. But they had a exclusive uh, action figures you could send off for, and I sent off and got a Wonder Man from them. But anyway, the question number fourteen. So eh, I. I'm not familiar with that one. It seems to be an 80s book. 
Matter of fact, I'm thinking that the Wonder Man was the 80s. Matter of fact, but uh, um, trying to find it just says volume one, doesn't have an issue number unless it's a one shot. But Robin Hood, volume one. Um, yeah, I've like I said, Eternity Comics. Okay, that's who made it. But <coughs> and unless specified, um, if any of y'all are interested in any of these comic books, hit me up in the comment section down below, and maybe we can make a deal on something, bundle some stuff up if if you see something you're interested in. Um. The first superhero from New Jersey. Who is it? Who is it? Come on. Who is it? Who is it? You don't know? I didn't know either. It's this guy. The Toxic Avenger. Number seven. Got up. All right. And Sleepwalker, number nine. Got to move through these a little bit. I'm, I am noticing that there isn't, there isn't a whole lot of, uh, you know, A-list characters in these so far. But, but oh, well, the hell no, now, okay. The Mighty Thor, starring in Marvel Spectacular, number thirteen. All right, we're getting into some A-listers now. I know. Keep doing that. Trying not to. Again, bifocals. Can't see the camera. Alright. And another... Um, this is uh, Marvel Superheroes featuring the Hulk. These are old. These are kind of old. Number 48. This one's kind of beat up. That, that, that one there was in pretty good shape. This one's kind of tore up a little bit. But uh, anyway. Hulk versus Submariner. Is it Submariner or Submariner? I don't know. When I was a kid, I called him Submariner, but I think it's Submariner now. But you can see this one is, uh, if I can get the camera to focus. Uh, let's see. Anyway, there's a, a big tear right there, and it's kind of chewed up along the edges. Pretty bad shape, but, you know, it's a 70s book, so... Image Comics... Image Comics always has the always had the coolest covers back in the nineties, but Cyber Force number two. And who did? I wonder who did the artwork on that one. Um, I can't read it. Silvestri, ah, yeah, this Silvestri. So pretty cool. All right, this one's this one's going out to. Oh no, no, that's wombat that 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 Foo's collecting in it. But I got Badger number forty-seven. <laughs> Maybe we could throw this in with your wombat collection, Foo, and uh, you can start a Badger collection too. From uh, first comics. Don't know anything about that one. All right. All right, some more 90s image goodness. Brigade. Um, this one had boarded. Said they were all be bagged and boarded. I'll let her pass, though. Let them pass. Um, first issue, Brigade number one. All right. Ooh, nice. I don't... Well, I tell you what, it looks like Catwoman, but it's not. But this is a cool cover. I like this. Dynamite Comics, Miss Fury, number one. Looks like Catwoman. But, yeah, that's kind of cool. I like the artwork on that. And it's a number one issue. There's my key right there. That thing, 
That's got to be worth a million dollars. That's a million dollars right there. Just take my word. A million dollars. <laughs> anyway, from Comico, a three issue mini series, number two, The Amazon. It's kind of a cool cover, too. It's, um, it's got that. Um, who's that artist that. Um, my wife would know. The artist that paints with with blotches. Um, very famous artist, not a comic book artist, like a like an old artist. Anyway, I can't remember who it is, but reminiscent of that. Uh, Valiant presents Armories number twelve. Alright, not necessarily a fan. Not really. Let's get back let's get back into some uh some some A listers here. Boom I thought it was Boom Studios, is it? Boom Studios, I guess. But it's called I can't even read that. Anyway. Uh Superbia. Number four. A little crossing the Delaware homage there. And from Cross Gen Comics. Soldier, the prequel. It's kind of cool art. Again, so far. If you're in any of these trips you trigger, hit me up in the comments. Might be able to work something. All right. Again, Soldier number 25. That's a sweet cover. I kind of like that cover. Looks like I got a Looks like she unloaded her Soldier comics on me. <laughs> that person. He or she. Soldier number five. They are really cool covers, though. I don't know who does the artwork on it. Um, Greg Land. Um, I guess, maybe. I don't know. But it's kind of cool. All right. We have filled up my holder here, so we'll have to set those down. And Soldier number three. I think that's the last of these for a while. But definitely pretty cool. Cool covers on them. I don't know. Uh, always got to be background noise when I do these. I'm surprised somebody can come in. Valiant presents The Visitor number two. I never got into any of Valiant's comics, and I know. You know, none of the. I didn't get into Bloodshot, didn't get into Turok the Dinosaur Hunter, or, or any of them. But, oh well. My wife making a run for the phone like she's going to get to it before it stops. And she missed. <laughs> no, it's nine times out of ten, it's somebody telling us the warranty on our computer or our car is worn out, so I don't even bother. Anyway, um, John Constantine, Hellblazer, number 12. What? No, like it's the phone so you don't grab it anymore. No. <laughs> she, get, she gets the phone so it quits going, so we'll quit going off during my videos. That's mighty nice of her. I give her crap, but she's pretty good to me. Starman, number 53. At least we're getting into some DC titles now. Ooh, me. Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips. Fatal, number 20, or number 2. Which one is it? Number 2 or number 20? I don't know. It says number 2 here, and then in the corner it says number 20. We'll figure it out. Maybe it's part 2. 
of this series. I don't know. Anyway, it's a cool cover. Hey, who's that artist that uh, paints with blotches? That famous artist that when you away from Monet? Yeah. Yeah, Monet. The Monet cover on that one I was trying to figure Salvador out. Salvador Dali. No, it's not that one. I think it's Monet. When you look at it from far away, it looks like a picture, but when you get up close, it's just a bunch of blotches on the... Yeah. Anyway. Speaking of Turok the Dinosaur Hunter, there you got number 19. Like I said, I never got into any of the Valiant stuff, really, but... You know, hey, some people dig it. And that's cool. Yeah. All right. I mean, so far, everything is in pretty good shape, the comics-wise. Um, <laughs> but uh, I just saw the next one, uh, laughing. But, you know, what I wouldn't give for a Spider-Man comic or... Batman or Superman, you know, this is a lot, a lot, a lot of variants or obscure ones. So, like this one, Innovation Comics, The Maze Agency, number 15. That one's worth a million dollars. It's got to be. Yeah. And here's why I was laughing because here we are. I specifically call out Turok the Dinosaur Hunter that I don't like it. But, I got number one. I actually dig the cover on number one. I remember the little chromium cover. Yeah, I know. Me and my chromium covers. But, I always thought that was pretty cool. And I did buy it when it came out. Just didn't like it. <laughs> but, it's a number one. And, fantastic condition. Really good condition. I don't know. I don't know if this one seems like that the early Turok stuff kind of warmed up a little bit I mean I'm not going to send your kid to college on it but you know anyway oh this is kind of cool Dynamite Comics um, written by Bill Willingham Legendary A Steampunk Adventure number one so yeah that's pretty cool Uh, yeah, kind of cool. I mean, I give her credit for, or give them credit for one thing is, you know, she picked out some, some stuff that's, you know, interesting at least. Uh, Terminator 404, The Enemy Within. Yeah, never been much of a Terminator guy either. I'm a, I'm an old school man. I, you know, I like, I like the A-listers. Get Give me any member of the Justice League. Give me any member of of the Avengers. Give me some Spider Man. Give me some Venom. You know, and I'm and I'm a happy camper. You start getting into uh, my the Psychic Girl number twenty, and you lose me. But be nice to get a few marquee ones in here anyway. <coughs> um. More Valiant. Uh, Eternal Warrior. I remember this when it came out. Number 30. Immortal War Part 3 of 4. Now, first comics. Um, Mike Grell's Sable. Number 2. Um... Well, John Carpenter presents A Princess of Mars, number one of five. At least it's a Marvel. Never heard of it. I know who John Carpenter is. Who doesn't know who John Carpenter is, but still. All right. Hey, we've got a semi-marquee semi player. Uh, annual number two, Return of the Defenders, Namor, the Submariner. How do you like me now? <laughs> Submariner. A B-lister, but not at least not a D-lister, speaking of. 
Namor number five. Yeah. Motor mouth and kill power. Number six. Featuring cable. Well, there you go. Got to get a rub off a B lister like cable. Yeah. I know y'all are out there. Cable ain't a B lister. Yeah, he is. He's a B lister. Sorry, B lister. All right, uh, Taskmaster. Uh, Taskmaster, number three of four. That's kind of a cool cover. I at least know who he is. Another B lister, but. All right, we're starting to get into some A-lister. Ooh, hey, all right. Little mini run. Is it? Could this... I don't remember how many uh, issues were in this, but... Uh, got Heroes for Hire, number one. Civil War. Trying to keep the glare off of it. I'm doing pretty good this time. But, uh... And also number two. I think it, I don't remember how many parts were in this. I want to want to say it was five, but I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong. You all have watched my videos. You know, if there's a 10% chance that I'm wrong. That's why I don't go to the casinos, guys. Ooh. Ooh. More 90s goodness. Ooh. <laughs> Union, number one image. Gotta love them 90s. Gimmick covers. Supreme, number three from Image. I actually remember reading Supreme. I, it wasn't too bad. Or no, wait, I'm getting mixed up. That was, I think that was Prime. I read the Shazam knockoff where the kid is the superhero. That was Prime, yeah. Anyway. Well. We get some image number ones. A little run of these bad boys. Let's see what we get. Uh, Union number one. We got Supreme number one also. And, ooh, Shadowhawks. Or Shadowhawk number one. Little foil cover embossed, pretty nice. See now they have, now they have, now they have st struck my my nerd bone. And the last one, Shaman's Tears, number one, the last number one image uh, comic. And finally, the last comic book in this big monster lot. And the last one, they finally gave uh, an A-lister. Ish. Eh, ish. It's an X-Men, so, you know. But Gambit, number 15. With a cool rogue cover. But anyway, so there you go. Was it 50 comics? Um, probably. <clears throat> but, um, on a personal note, it got some really cool cover grabs in there. So, I mean, as far as that goes, that's pretty cool. Um, any keys? I don't know, you know, some of these, some of these number one image stuff, um, you know, like Turok, number one. Seems like I read something somewhere about those, like Turok heating up a little bit or something. But I don't even know if that's his first appearance, but it's his first comic. But I would go, I'd go on a limb and say there's probably not any, you know, even minor keys in here. Maybe, maybe micro keys. Um, but some cool artwork on some on some titles that from publishers I've never heard of. Some of the indie titles, pretty cool. Uh, the comics in general, there are a few of them. 
most of the condition issues on them are spine roll. Um, nothing, I mean, nothing, you can barely see it, but nothing that would, would, um, that would, you know, I would consider damaged or just crappy comics altogether. Um, know if I have a favorite in here. Um, well, you know, I, I like those gimmicky, I love those gimmicky image covers. But, um, um, given, I would probably say that there's probably not much in here that I would, that I would actually read or go after. There, I mean, there, there's some cool art. Like I said, cool cover grabs, first mark cover grabs. Anyway, but as I said, um, seen anything in there you like hit your boy up I mean, I'll hook you up um, probably do you something cheap on them um, but um, anyway I know this is running long I try to keep my videos under 30 minutes um, don't forget the contest I'm probably going to have to make a separate video but don't forget to enter that my 100 subscriber contest. Um, get your name in there. Drop the link to your video in the comments. People are, are missing that. And, and if you don't drop a link or at least let me know you made a video in the comments so I can go look at look for it. I have no idea that you entered. So, um, yeah, you know, make uh, make your video aware to me, <laughs> or I can't I can't put you down um, and again US citizens only um, and if you want to prize tag somebody and enter that's great too so but anyway um, what was I thinking I ordered a 50 book mystery box I gotta look all these things up uh, lucky for you it only takes a second for me it's gonna take about an hour but anyway we will be right back and we'll give you a roundabout value Peace. All right, we are back. The things I do for you guys. 50 comic books. $50 bin comic books. You made me go through $50 bin comic books. All right, and they're not all dollar bins. As I said, sometimes digging through them dollar bins, quarter bins, you strike gold. But we'll go through them. Anyway, go through them pretty quickly. Stop on some decent ones. This one, Fatal. And number two, it is number two, 20th anniversary. Okay, anyway, two bucks. <coughs> Turok, Dinosaur Hunter number 19, dollar bin book. Again, if y'all see you anything you gotta have, you know, hit me up in the comments. The Maze Agency, number 15, two bucks. Um, Supreme, number three, two bucks. Starman, number, whoops, number 53, dollar bill. Less than that since I dropped it. Uh, Turok, the Dinosaur Hunter. Uh, it's only three bucks. Um, I don't know though. I may hold on to it because I think I keep thinking I heard something about this. This is might be a key someday. Anyway, I'm gonna hold on to that one. So oh, sorry. Uh, anyway, on with the on with the show. Uh, the legendary steampunk. Legendary is Steampunk Adventure number one. I saw this thing go as low as five bucks, but as high as like 30. So I don't know the condition issues, but this one is in immaculate condition. So I'm gonna say five dollars plus. And, and and no, I didn't add all these up again. Let's just let's just say for the sake of argument that. 50 bucks for 20 bucks. They're at least dollar bin books, so 
All right, but so I I got my I got more than than fifty dollars worth of value. I'm sure, probably, definitely easily a double because there's some in here that are worth quite a bit, a bit more than a buck. Uh, Terminator, the Enemy Within, four or four. You can get the set of them for two dollars and fifty cents, all four of them. So it's like a quarter bin book. And yes, Squatchy, before you do it in the comments, yes, that's where I live, the quarter bins. Chin nuts. <clears throat> um, my the Psychic Girl, number 20, dollar bin book. Eternal Warriors, number 30, and Turtle Warrior, number 30. Uh, Valiant, two bucks. S Mike... Grills Sable number two, four bucks. Uh, a Princess of Mars dollar bill. There are a few of them in here that um, Maymore Annual number two, about three bucks. And this is good, really good condition too. So. Namor number five. Two bucks. Uh, Motor Mouth and Kill Power number six. Two bucks. T Taskmaster. Ugh. Don't know why I can't say that word. Taskmaster number three of four. You can get the set of them for 20 bucks. Uh, this one by itself, about three bucks. Heroes for Hire, number one and number two. Two bucks a piece. Union, number one. Ooh, cool cover. Ooh, you know me. Ooh, love it. Anyway, it's a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Cheap entertainment for Stevie B. Supreme number one. Dollar. Ooh, foil. Em embossed foil. Shadowhawk number one. More embossed foil. Ooh. Shiny. Dollar bill. Shaman's Tears, number one, red, shiny, embossed, dollar bill. I like the 90s covers, but they sure didn't hold up to their value, did they? Gambit, number 15, my one A-list book, sort of, three bucks. Okay, all right, we are about halfway there. Get it out of the way. Alright. Robo twat or cop, excuse me. <clears throat> Robocop. Number two. Or num yeah, number two. Two bucks. Robocop number one, on the other hand, is worth two bucks. Oh, yeah. I was trying to figure out what my notes said on the back of that. I can't even read my own writing. Ninth Man. Um, in good condition, it's a dollar book. But this one, as I wrote on the back and couldn't read, is beat up. Yeah, that's the one with the big old gash up the front of it. And all the spine ticks and the spine roll. It's just, it's a reader. Oh, and oh, not to mention the dog ear. Somebody rolled this up and stuck it in their back pocket. That's what it looked like. But anyway. Power Girl. One of a four-part miniseries. Now, that one... I had a hard time finding it at first. But when I found it, in this condition, there was one that went... that was in crappier condition that went cheaper. But this one, I would say, is at least uh, a seven. Very fine. Um, seven bucks. 
The New Warriors number 10. Man, I saw a copy of this up there for $36, and I was freaking out because I thought it was a key of some sort. But it's not. But still, it is Mark Bagley, and it is worth 8 bucks. So... Wonder Man, number two, dollar bill. The question, number 14, the answer, two dollars. Robin Hood, took me a while to find that one too. Um, they had it for sale for a, as a set. And as the, you could get the set of four, these, I think it's, yeah, four part series. You could get one through four for, uh, uh, 15 or 20 bucks anyway good three bucks the toxic Avenger number seven I actually thought this one would have a little more value but man it's three bucks but I think it's a uh, it's a little more desirable than the others sleepwalker number nine two bucks go ahead and sleep on that one um the mighty four the mighty four here we go i was doing so good about the stuttering through this <laughs> and now here i am the mighty thor starring in marvel spectacular number 13 five dollars and marvel superheroes featuring the hulk and submariner he who strikes the silver surfer Dollar bill. Cyber Force number two. As cool as that cover is and as awesome as the art is, two dollars. Badger, cousin of Wolverine, number 47, two dollars. Brigade number one. Still no love for the 90s. Two bucks. The Amazon, number two. This is the one I said looked like a Monet painting. Because if you get real close to it, you can see it's just like blotches. So it's kind of a cool cover. Uh, maybe when he dies it'll be worth some money because now it's only worth a dollar. Uh, Armories. Ow. Or armorines. I think I called it armories the first time. Oh, that's my wife cussing in the background. <laughs> Sorry, I can't get through one video. <laughs> anyway, armorines, number 12. Number $2. Apparently she stubbed her toe. Anyway, back to it. Suburbia, suburbia, suburbia. Number four. Two bucks. Oh, and these Sojourns, the prequel. Even though these are really cool covers, still only worth two bucks. Uh, number 25, only a dollar. Number five, one dollar. Number three, why I don't know, but this one is about six bucks. Didn't say anything about a first appearance or a key or anything, but it's worth six bucks. Uh, the Visitor, number two, dollar book. And Hellblazer, number 12 about four dollars all right now the big hit of the box and my favorite one even though it's probably not the most valuable but the one we did get that was pretty cool was the uh the whoops that's my turok that i'm holding on to the miss fury number one this is a subscription only Alex Ross cover and that 
is cool because Alex Ross, this one is staying with me because Alex Ross is my favorite. I did not know that was Alex Ross. I did not know he, you know, Dynamite Comics and Alex Ross, it seems a little beneath him. <laughs> no, but anyway, I'm just kidding. But that was, a, I said it was a sick cover to begin with and I liked it and now I know why. It's Alex Ross. Um, but sad to say, it's only worth about three bucks but i am gonna hold on to that one and that's it um like i said I, i'm not gonna go through and total all of them up mostly are most of them are dollar two dollar books and so i paid 20 bucks 20 bucks for 50 comic books most of them were in excellent shape very few of them were damaged and if i sold them for for a buck up if i sold them for 50 cents a piece i'd make my money back so um so if you just want you know some good readers um or pick up some uh you know some obscure kind of obscure um independent titles um yeah give them a shot um like i said that is uh joy for joy dash four five five on ebay I'll leave a link to her site. Or I keep saying it. I'm assuming it's a her because it's Joy. I don't know. But Joy could mean happy. But I will leave a link to that site in the description. If you want a good cheap way to pick up, you know, 50 um, random comic books to read, there you go. Be a good idea for, you know, stocking stuffers, kids. Maybe, well, maybe not. Some of those are... Mm, I don't know. Anyway, I do not promote children under 13. That is clearly not for children under 13. <clears throat> but all right, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Um, we'll catch you on the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that like button, guys. And uh, head over to my contest video. Um, it's in the uh, it's, it's got its own playlist. Check out all the other uh, entries that are in there already and sub some people up. Man, let's grow this community. That's going to do it for me, man. Me and the Comic Cleaver, we are out. Peace.